the last time I was on the doctor's. You know what I can tell when I'm being mentally undressed. <laughs> it was all lots of laughs, except for the Dorian fruit test. I do remember that. It was disgusting. I think Mama did that. Oh. It smells. I think I'd rather be trapped in the sauna at The Biggest Loser. This time a little more serious. I'm here for the first time to speak out about a condition that I have been through that affects about a million and a half people in this country. About four years ago, I woke up with my hands itching one morning. And I said, we're gonna win the lottery or something tonight because my palms are itching. I ended up going in the kitchen and uh, dunking my hands in cold ice water and uh, that stopped the itching. So fast forward to the next day, I wake up with my palms itching and I'm like, what the heck is going on? back into the ice water, and later that morning, all of a sudden, stomach starts itch starts itching back. Uh, it's crawling up my arms. And I remember pulling my shirt up in front of the mirror and going, oh my God, what is going on? I knew I had to contact my allergist. He said, it'll be gone in a week. It wasn't gone. We went through six weeks of me being, you know, just absolutely ready to tear my hair out. Welts, and then my welts would get together and start looking like continents. And uh, it's, it's not fun. I was clawing myself to death. I'm taking cold showers every day and I'm slathering myself with menthol lotion. And uh, after six weeks of trial and error, he finally diagnosed me with chronic idiopathic urticaria. I think if you Google uh, CIU, you're gonna get, huh? <laughs> you feel alone out there. People don't discuss hives. So that's why I'm going to speak out for the first time and help them try to clarify and help themselves. Please welcome America's favorite mama, Emmy award-winning actress and comedic legend, Vicki Lawrence. That'll give you hives, too. It's not, it's not, it's not catching. <laughs> well, you're, you're here under completely different circumstances this time, looking fabulous. Yes, I'm hive really free. Are. Yes, hive free. Yeah. Good for you. I'm so glad that you're talking about chronic idiopathic urticaria. It's something we don't talk about enough. And people who have it tend to not understand that 30 to 50% of people who have it actually have an autoimmune disorder underlying. So it's really important to even talk about this. Uh, yeah, I, we didn't, nobody, nobody talks about it. Uh, uh, although your friends, uh, my friends, everybody had the answer. It's okay. your diet, Vicki. You need to change your diet. My daughter, you need to get on a holistic diet, Mom. Sure. And uh, I had uh, another friend who said, oh, it's all those new vitamins you're taking. You gotta stop all your vitamins. Stopped all of those. Uh, somebody else said, uh, red wine. It's the red wine. <laughs> <little. laughs> and these are all things in the can't... red wine. And I'm like, excuse me? I, I, no, no, no. Right, though, because Vicky's all those things can, can cause hives. And since we don't know, with chronic idiopathic, idiopathic meaning we don't know what causes it, urticaria. I, idi the, the, idiot is the root word. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, Travis? Um, prior to this um, website, which we set up, which is called CIUNU.com, uh, you can you can Google, like I said, CIU, and there's not a lot of information out there. And I feel like in this day and age, I said, I will throw my hives in the ring and come out and talk about this because there should be an advocacy place for everything sure. in this day and age, I feel. And you know what? There are a million and a half, come to find out, people in America who Sorry. are dealing with the hives. So you've uh, teamed up with the Asthma and Allergy Foundation to really increase research and awareness. Yeah, on a this. lot of doctors who know what they're talking about. And we've created, and then the whole thing is sponsored by Novartis and Genentech. And uh, we've created this website where you can go and you can download a lot of materials. You can track your hives so that when you finally get to the right doctor, you can say, look, this has been going on for three weeks. High fives for talking about hives. Well, yes. <laughs> and it's not contagious, so we can no, high five. <laughs>